Who does Chris Jones think he is, Justin Trudeau? Not even a week after Trudeau announced his forgettable cabinet little merry-go-around, Jones did the same by giving his coaching staff a new look. But the good folks manning the earthquakes weren't duly notified to blow whistles and then produce a detailed report with words like sciatic. The only glasses that had beverages mildly spilling over during the Edmonton noon hour were perhaps those who were expecting a bigger bang out of the Elks office. Jones, in his typical black getup, announced his longtime first lieutenant Stephen McAdoo is out as offensive coordinator. Jarius Jackson assumes the lamented play sheet and the headset. It's like rearranging the Titanic deck chairs, er, chair. After Saturday's 27-0 loss to the Lions of BC and the Elks setting a new record of, brace yourself for the convenient cut and paste operative, losing 21 consecutive games at home. You knew changes would barrel down 111 Avenue. The Elks, to their credit, made a change. But will it be enough? Sure, the offense is the yardstick that stirs the Gatorade. The offense makes first downs, makes completed passes and methodically engineers long drives that go in for a touchdown, something the Elks haven't done in nine games. McAdoo has the credentials. He has two grey cups, one in 2012 as the Toronto Argonauts offensive line coach and the other on the 2015 Edmonton Eskimos squad that won in Regina. Sitting in the offensive coordinator's chair, McAdoo helped the Eskimos to a 14-4 Canadian Football League record before winning the Grey Cup in Winnipeg. Their quarterback, Riley, Mike Riley, as the Saskatchewan Roughriders' assistant head coach. McAdoo oversaw starting quarterback, Cody Fajardo, the CFL's top passing, hurling for 1,302 yards in the Riders' 15-3 season. McAdoo knows his XS and OS, take that all the way to the bank. His challenge, and the Elks, is he needs the personnel to get the job down. Now, Taylor Cornelius is a great young quarterback and has potential dripping down his jersey. The Elks need a more experienced quarterback and it's twofold, help the offense get in the end zone and have someone who can mentor the 27-year-old Cornelius. Jackson has spun the offensive coordinator's chair before with the Argos and the Lions. Since last season Jackson has been quarterback coach and game passing coach. We need to see this out, I think. The Elks season is pretty much done. The players need to find a sense of belonging and a purpose to build a long-term successful football team. Their psyche is dangerously dangling. Their culture must be, well, you fill in the blank. Jackson knows that. Maybe, with the new authority and responsibilities, he can address the issues he sees. Another set of eyes is always a good idea. If Jackson can perform his magic, he, along with Jones, will look brilliant. If not, Jones just might be out of options. And being present at Elks news conferences.